Okay, so this is uh, Sir Robert Sibbald's uh, grave in here. And, uh, <clears throat> well, you can see here he was, um, he was a founder member of the Royal College of Physicians, not to be confused with the Royal College of Surgeons we've been talking about already. Royal College of Physicians is on Queen Street, very fancy building there, very nice library as well. Um, so he was a founder member of that. Um, but he was also uh, first professor of medicine in the University of Edinburgh. But that, I mean, there were three professors appointed at the, all at the same time. Sybil was one of them. None of these three professors ever did a day's work in their lives, as far as we know. <laughs> and they never gave a lecture. <laughs> they never taught anybody. So they were just sinecures. Um, and it was only uh, when uh, Alexander Munro uh, Primus, he's called Primus because he's he was succeeded in the job by his uh, son, Alexander Munro Secundus, <laughs> and he was succeeded in the job by his son, Alexander Munro Tertius, right, <laughs> the third. So, uh, um, but Alexander Munro Primus was the one who really uh, kicked off the uh, Edinburgh Medical School. Sybil, uh, although he was, you know, a well-known um, man in Edinburgh, he didn't do uh, any teaching of medicine. Um, he did, though, by the way, have a huge collection of his own, a collection of uh, artefacts and natural uh, samples of things, uh, which on his death went to, uh, the, into the uh, university museum, and that, again, caused the museum to expand and, uh, you know, why it needed the new building and so on, <coughs> eventually. Okay.